The terrible reality that you have been kept in the dark about regarding Matt's off-road recovery YouTube is a vast platform that provides abundant opportunity for users to display a variety of skills and generate original content. There is a channel like this where a person named Matt posts videos of himself going about his daily duties, which include rescuing cars. Continue scrolling down the page to learn more about him. Since its launch in 2019, Matt's off-road recovery has amassed approximately 1.3 million subscribers on YouTube making it a bona fide internet phenomenon in just over three and a half years. The unconventional nature of the channel's creator, Matt Wetzel, a middle-aged tow truck driver from Hurricane, Utah, with a bushy beard and a limited understanding of modern technology, is what makes this YouTube success story so interesting. Matt used little more than an iPhone and his dogged determination to launch what has become one of the most successful YouTube channels ever. Matt's off-road recovery is a family-friendly and edge-of-your-seat YouTube channel that is based on the real-life exploits and white-knuckle recoveries of Matt and his crew, which consists of Matt's wife, Jamie, their four sons, and a gentleman named Ed. This is a highly original idea, but it is also extremely clear, and there is a better likelihood that it will attract an audience. In one of the films, he is seen hanging out with a girl who appears frequently in his other movies. It appears that they take pleasure in carrying out their duties. The name of the young lady is Lizzie, and she is the daughter of a mutual acquaintance of Matt's. Jamie is Matt's wife, and they have four children together. Matt and Jamie have been married for a long time. There have been sightings of her traveling with Matt. People frequently believe that Ed was Matt's father, but in reality, Ed is Matt's friend. This was a widespread misunderstanding that people had regarding Ed. He has two dogs, one of them is a female, and her name is Lady, while the other is a male, and his name is Max. Moving on to his fantastic stuff, he just recently published a video in which he is seen saving a Jeep worth $200,000. Although it appeared to be incredibly risky, it was also very interesting. He laughed about the situation and referred to it as a bathtub recovery after revealing that this is the group's fourth Jeep that needs to be retrieved. This is how the method works. Matt and Lizzie arrive at their car and hook it up to the one that is stuck. If the car is stuck in a way where there is an easy possibility to get it out, one of the people who are accompanying them will drive it, and then they will move it out. If the vehicle is stuck in a way where there is no simple chance to get it out, then they will get their truck, which helps them rescue bigger vehicles. The good news with Matt's channel is that there are a lot of people who participate and are loud about their ideas, and he is receptive to all of their suggestions as well. In addition, the bad news is that he has been accused of sexual misconduct. It appears like he takes pleasure in what he does, and why shouldn't he? The work is quite fascinating and captivating. The majority of their vehicle recovery work takes place in isolated regions, which is consistent across all of their videos. The chart was about to continue when it was interrupted when he was observed pulling a boat from the water. The joy I felt while watching this video caused me to laugh out loud. His most notable recoveries were four Jeeps, each of which was worth more than $100,000. He mentioned earlier that he was able to save these vehicles. He has quite a few automobiles under his ownership. About a month ago, his big truck was spotted at SEMA 2022, and it appeared to be in perfect condition. This one-of-a-kind sculpture is something that enthusiasts of motor vehicles are certain to adore. And for those of you who are unaware, Matt is also involved in another business venture known as Harbor Freight, which involves selling tools. They face challenges in recovering a car on occasion, which made it tough for them. One of these instances was when they came across a Toyota SUV that was trapped in the river, and he was able to successfully get it out of the body of water. If you are also perplexed as to why the majority of his films are shot during the daytime, as opposed to the nighttime, he has an explanation for that as well. He discusses all of the potential dangers, as well as the benefits and drawbacks of them. It would be difficult to discern the path, and thus, to identify the challenges.